okay, <laughs> we are back live. Hopefully this time it works well. All right, so yeah, my apology, okay, for the disruption, the delay, and also all the inconvenience, okay. So hopefully now the live will, finger crossed, goes on well. Because like um, in the past weekend also, we have some Wi-Fi issue lah. Okay, there is some Wi-Fi issue. So on Saturday itself, okay, we also ask the technician to actually come and like, you know, try to fix on the Wi-Fi. So yeah, I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but hopefully now all is good. Okay, I'm so sorry. Saman Zaidi, thank you so much for your patience. Okay, we were delayed for like 13 minutes. Okay, thanks so much for still in a way like, you know, like uh, staying by and then uh, following back on this particular session. All right, so I hope that now, yes, Jen Ho, I am back. <laughs> Okay, hopefully, fingers crossed, okay. Lina Lim, thank you so much. I see all of your comments. As I mentioned, tonight's session itself will be on feng shui activation. The what, why, when, where, and who. Any questions you have, all right? Any doubts, anything that you want to ask regarding feng shui activation, please do ask it tonight itself, okay? So, and also, I'm going to share with you. In fact, it's a reshare, okay? I've talked about this topic, okay, earlier on. All right, why is it now is very crucial, okay, that uh, we we will have to, in a way, rapidly or actively doing this feng shui activation. What exactly is feng shui activation? How is it going to help us, okay? What are the results or outcome or expectations, okay, that you will foresee during the feng shui activation itself? All right, Shalise, Jennifer Ong, okay, thank you so much, okay, to all of you for like staying put and also in a way like, you know, waiting while we get back on to this live itself, okay, I really appreciate it. Now, if you can, please do help me to share this session out to your Facebook friends itself, okay? Hopefully, we can get back the people just now, okay? Yeah, or instead of them like getting so frustrated and left the life itself. All right, so now, okay? Now, feng shui activations is like those of you who attended my uh, Grand Centurion Portal Workshop, okay? On the past, like, uh, 5th of September, all right? So, I'm sure you understand why is it so crucial now that we are living in, okay, a moment where we have amazing, okay, in a way, it's like very magical, very amazing sort of like planetary alignment, okay? We have like different alignments of different planets, okay, that over time itself, you see that it only happens, for uh, example, the Great Conjunction happens only every 400 years, okay? And now we are in this era, okay, that leading to next year itself, right? There is a phenomenon of a date itself that's only available, okay, another 180 years more, okay? It means that if we miss that particular day itself or whatever we need to actually work on ourselves to maximize the potential of those dates itself, right? We have to wait another 180 years for the next similar date to actually come by. All right, Chang Feng, okay? Thank you for your, like, you know, uh, uh, instant call. Huh? There's one thing good, uh, it's like, you know, whenever we have any technical issues, right? Chang Feng, okay? He will quickly call us up to assist us, to help us to actually get back on live itself, okay? So I really, like, very much appreciate, okay? Hi, Jenny Chang, all right? Thank you for tuning in. Again, if you can help me to share out this session uh, on your Facebook page so that more people can actually, in a way, access to this, that will be, like, truly, truly appreciated. Of course, now, what triggers me to reshare this topic okay now you know that okay during the great Sanctuary portal okay workshop itself i've shared like dates okay for activation in fact in the upcoming few months itself right i will be sharing every month itself there are certain things we need to achieve there are certain things that we need to actually in a way activate in terms of feng shui to help us heaven earth man it means that when we know that the alignment of the heaven when the portal is opening and the stars are aligning we want to ensure that on earth itself okay earth means the environment in feng shui context okay we want to make sure that our environment and also our house feng shui energy itself okay are also aligning with this uh, uh, how to say realignment or transformation okay the changes of chi or whatever you want to call it okay so therefore upcoming few months itself right okay there are many different activations okay that i will actually be sharing with you in fact those of you who came for the Centurion workshop, okay, on the 5th of September, and those of you who 
actually will be joining again okay on the 26th of september right okay which is towards the end of this month itself now there will be new dates every time i revisit this workshop itself there will be new things for you to work on new dates for you to do activation that's how we actually grow and really like in a way ascend and enlighten our energy so when we change ourselves when we work on ourselves we make changes okay we in a way transform and breakthroughs okay on a physical self on the human part heaven earth man on the human part we also want to try our best and ensure that the earth part or the feng shui part are also in a way transforming the chi are also circulating okay so therefore activations of feng shui is very very important at this moment now i have actually shared okay a feng shui topic i remember probably a month or two months ago all right i've actually shared about like you know why it's like you know why when we see the stars are aligning okay in the universe we also want to actually activate our home okay or our house itself to in a way relate to the alignment of the stars and i talk about the theory of as a birth so below okay i talk about uh, sir isaac newton and all the things so those of you okay if you're interested to watch back that particular episode which i highly recommend you to do so we will share the link onto the comments okay like probably now okay kong you can actually help me to share the link of those uh, 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 uh previous facebook live itself that you can actually watch it now Yes, I know there's a lot of Facebook Live for you to watch, but these two particular topics itself when it comes to feng shui activation, I think that it would be very, very beneficial if you actually spare some time to watch over it. One of the topics is actually about like, why is it so crucial for that, in a way, feng shui activation now? And then another one is we, like we're talking about like the five elements, okay? Like different types of like uh, activations and what are the purposes, okay? So those are the things that you can actually watch back. But today's session itself, right, okay, I'm going to just bring you back a revisit. For those of you who just followed me, okay, like probably for the past month or so, you might have missed the previous episode. So you must be wondering, okay, so there are a lot of practitioners, I mean, out there, over the times itself okay over times like, there are a lot of like even like you know like uh, um i mean masters before okay our time that have actually talked about feng shui they talk about like you know the good sides of the uh, feng shui stars and of course the negative side of the feng shui stars okay and i personally realized that of course like majority of the people they are very afraid of like certain stars when it comes to feng shui uh, 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 studies okay so i mean i'm not sure all of you here have been following feng shui right i'm sure it's like some of you uh, uh, in a way right okay when you heard about oh there's certain sector that if you want to activate probably is a tai shui sector means like it's a, a grand duke jupiter sector okay or it can be like a clashing tai shui okay sector okay or it can be a tree killing sector okay because tree killing sounds like familiar for those of you who follow feng shui right every year there are certain direction or certain location that actually in a way falls into these tree killings all right and then we also have the five yellow the ultimate villain okay of all the feng shui stars so like every year of course like you know a lot of like different things different remedies okay when we talk about like even feng shui audits and all these things as well they are also of course like you know uh, uh, um like products okay that are so in order for us to to um pacify this five yellow or the three killings you can use like the bakwa mirror la whatsoever products are okay there are many of all these products to pacify them now to me I mean, at the end of the day, there are different practitioners with different opinion and different, uh, in a way, personal understanding about feng shui. So there's no right, no wrong. Because if you understand how metaphysics works, right, okay, of everything in oneness of the yin and yang, you know that at the end of the day, everything in the universe is connected. That is the basis of all feng shui practice. So like, you know, for, for me, it's like feng shui practitioners or whatsoever, right? even like normal people, there's really no point for us to actually bring out conflicts okay of comparing i am right and so and so is wrong okay it's like uh they uh, who is right and who is wrong because at the end of the day if you bring out this conf conflict that really in a way goes against okay the what we call the spirit okay of learning metaphysical work 
it's really going against okay what all this in a way like uh, forefathers or like uh, no great masters okay in the olden days are uh, even Confucians, Lao Tzu, and all that okay like all their teachings itself or the philosophical of like Tao okay it really goes against those method all right but the thing is to me I would say that okay in the society I find that nowadays a lot of people are afraid okay of a certain like uh, uh, theories of feng shui or certain they, they, they hear about five yellow they hear about three killings you know automatically collectively okay right due to their understanding of in a way hearing about feng shui right okay they are, they are afraid of it now i can understand yes okay all this starts itself if it's activated without much preparations on an individual basis okay it can actually brings a lot of test lessons okay in a good way you can call it test or lessons okay but on a not so good way you can say that it can actually triggers a loss of chaos okay a lot of like uh, uh uh really like dramatic chaos it can be like really like you know even up to the extent of like bad things that's going to happen okay right i personally in a way triggered my son actually accidentally i'm not sure uh, i'm sure i've shared this before I'm not sure whether those of you have actually have listened to this before. I remember, I think it was in year 2012, okay? We moved into a new house and then my second son, okay, the younger twin, actually in a way, right, okay, like activated the garden, which is exactly the five yellow, okay? So after the activations itself, right, okay, of course, he fell down from the stairs, all right? Uh, and then after that, right, the whole house got flooded because due to some like piping issues, okay? Now, things like this do happen, okay? But the thing is, okay, when certain activations of all this so-called uh, fear star, okay? I wouldn't say that it is a negative star. I would just say that it's a fear star, it's a bigger star, it's a stronger star. When we activate those things, we have to ensure that on a human scale, means yan waya, on a human's luck itself, right? We need to get ourselves prepared for it as well, okay? We need to get ourselves prepared. Means that the three things needs to come hand in hand, heaven, earth, and man. Now, the thing is, I realize that a lot of people follow feng shui, right? They always find that feng shui is the easy way out in life, all right? So because ba zi, ba zi is something that helps us to know more about ourselves, to know about our weaknesses and strength, and then after that comes up with a set of like advice for us to make breakthroughs, for us to actually make changes and transformation to be better, to have the courage to take up responsibilities in life. Now, I find that this part of the things, right, a lot of people or students or followers, okay, find it tedious. It is very ma fan, okay? It's very tedious. It's not easy to do. Huh? You mean that, huh, Jesse, if I, I believe in feng shui, you mean that I have to do all this transformation work. I have to work on myself. I have to make on all this breakthrough in order for me to actually, in a way, benefit from the good luck. Yes, I mean, if you're asking me, if you follow me, if you're asking me in terms of my way of like practicing astrology, yes, there's no easy way out, there's no shortcut, okay? But I find that a lot of people turns to feng shui because they thought that working on ourselves is a hard work, okay? It is not so easy to work on ourselves. We rather, hopefully, just tell me what I can do to work on the house. If I place certain things on the house, I buy certain products and place it at home, okay, things will change. I just want to know that. Now, I can tell you, okay, in actual fact, if that's the way we practice feng shui, we are living in a big denial, okay? We are living in, a, 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 how to say, uh, we are pacifying, we are in a way like allowing, okay, our fear, okay, to in a way manipulate us to do the things which is easy way out for us, okay? So I find that nowadays, it's like a lot of people see feng shui in this way. I mean, it's like, you know, they say, oh, you mean that you cannot actually come to the house and like, turn it into a positive place where I can actually see results and reap results and have benefits or, or positive benefits from it. I can honestly tell you, whatever positive benefits that you're, you're going to get, okay, from your home feng shui depends on your own actions and your own preparations, okay? I know by saying all these things, chances is I might be losing a lot of you, okay? I know the chances is I might be losing students, I might be losing clients, okay? I mean, like, no, you will think that, ha, huh, Jesse, you mean that feng shui is not that, no? To your understanding is like, I just have to practice feng shui, I have to do certain feng shui activations and buy certain things or do some things at home itself and my life is supposed to turn to be better. Now, only when you're ready. So tonight's episode itself, right, I want to talk about this, I want to debunk about this because I really do not want 
a big whole group of followers who at the end of the day who are following all these feng shui or astrology studies right okay with a bunch of fear within them okay right also because it's like why because upcoming months itself i have plenty of activation dates of course i also have workshops to share with you how can you get yourself ready for this big transformation or big alignment that's going to happen the grand centurion date itself okay which is going to happen next year but when it happens, I can tell you, this is a magical phenomenon. This is like once in a lifetime thing because the next time when you see an exact date, okay, with the exact, in a way, feng shui flying stars that comes about on earth itself, it will be 180 years later, okay? So no one, okay, whatsoever, any one of you, even our children will not be able to witness the next one after 2022, all right? Now, but the thing is, I also want to also share with you as in like, okay, if we are not preparing ourselves enough, whatever this so-called super magical date itself, okay, will have different effect on different people, all right? So for people who are very ready, who will do whatever it takes, who have the courage to take responsibilities in life and work on themselves and have the breakthroughs, this part I can guarantee you, next year when the date comes on, okay, you will actually benefit and reap positive results not due to greed okay because everything if you understand that you have to make breakthroughs and all these things right it means whatever your expectations whatever you want to achieve and manifest in life is based on whatever that we are ready because as long as we are actually yearning for some results okay or some 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 uh, uh how to say achievement in life itself okay when we are actually not ready for it that is greed so if you have greed, it means that you're not ready. You have breakthroughs to make. You have a lot of fear with you. So for people who are not ready, who are succumbed with fear, who are in a way living in denial, who have loads of excuses in their life, okay, this so-called magical date will become a curse to all of us. Okay. So remember, how we see things, the thing is aligning. Okay. The things is happening. How we see it in reality, depending on how ready we are. The more we are ready, we see it as a gift, okay? The more we are not ready, we see it as a curse. That's why you see that these few years itself, okay, whenever it's like the, the pandemic happened, all these natural disasters, which is bizarre, which is crazy, okay? You see like all these heightened natural disasters itself, right, okay? It is not like just any normal years, you know? This years itself, you see that the fires, the bushfires, forest fires and all that, the water impact, the typhoon and all these things, right? It is actually, in a way, just out of the norm. So all these things is because due to the alignment of the planets or the stars, okay, what we call it in the galaxy or in the, in the universe, okay? So when it is rapidly changing and moving on top, okay, we need to also rap uh, rapidly change and move below on Earth. As human on Earth, we have to adapt to this change. We have to go with the flow of the change, okay? But the thing is, when a person who is not ready, okay, they are succumbed to fear, there's a lot of setback, there's a lot of denial, there's a lot of, uh, in a way, procrastination example. When these things happen, when the date comes, right, all these people will actually, in a way, be cursing about it because they felt like this is a torture, this is suffering. And that is, I, I mean, in a way, the real astrology that I personal, personally believe in, okay? If you ask me, can then feng shui really helps me to transform my life? Definitely can. But can feng shui alone helps you to transform your life without your effort and your actions to make changes in your life? I can tell you, don't waste your money and time. It can't. Now, just imagine, right? Just imagine if you want to try, imagine you want to try to do an experiment. You find like so-called the best feng shui place, okay? The house of like the probably the richest person, okay, right, uh, in Malaysia. I wonder who's the richest person in Malaysia, okay? All right, so imagine this person's home. Supposedly, it should have at least decent and like fairly good feng shui, right, okay? So you find that like really the best feng shui you can find, even in Malaysia. And you try to actually put like maybe like a gambler in or a beggar in, okay, right? Someone who like, Throughout their entire life, they live in entitlement. They felt that the world owes them everything. Try to actually put this someone inside this best feng shui house. Do you think that over a year or two, or you can give it even up to five years or whatever, this person will change? You think that this person will actually becomes really like the richest person tycoon? Okay. Do you think that this person will have a lot of achievements in their life? 
they won't. Why is it so? Is because now these persons are only in a way hoping to benefit from the external energy of a house feng shui, but this person is not ready. Mentality, perspective, action, decision, mindset, all these are actually even beyond negative. It is so negative that this person technically on a on a, on a how to say uh, on a person's success level itself, right? They don't have all the right traits. So therefore, no matter what good feng shui you do for them, it no positive results will be seen. You understand what I mean, okay? So feng shui is complementary, complementary to what we are doing. If we have the right mindset, if we understand, we in a way work on our fear, we make breakthroughs in life, feng shui helps us. Therefore, right, that's why even up to now, you see, uh, I mean, I have never, in fact, okay, you see the amount of my classes that is parts based. Parts based means like breakthrough classes, lah, okay, which is like, you know, all these like transformation classes, okay, parts mastery classes. All these tools is about knowing ourselves, getting to know ourselves, our strengths and weaknesses. And you look at my record itself, right? These are the classes that I push out more because everyone needs to start by knowing ourselves by knowing our strength and knowing our weaknesses. That's the first step into transformation. Then only when the students are ready, we actually bring them to the second step where feng shui comes in. We introduce them, okay, how we can use feng shui to complement these changes or these transformations, okay, that we are about to make within ourselves, with our own action and take responsibility in our life, okay? So feng shui comes in to complement that. But I know in the market, I was told as well, because this is a business, okay? Like people keep on urging me to start feng shui classes. So far in my entire histories of coming out on my own, okay? To set up Soleil Trinity since like 2010 or 2010, okay? And 2011, I officially come out, okay? I have never ever done any standalone feng shui class before, except for two years ago. That's all. Only one class. Now, if you ask me, can feng shui class fetch higher price or a ba zi class or a breakthrough class fetch higher price? Everyone who knows feng shui, you will know. Feng shui definitely fetch higher price. But the thing is, it's my own, in a way, belief, okay? Because if I want to guide people along the way, all right, to learn, to grow, and to transform together. Why I say this is because I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm also transforming. Together, we are doing this together. But the, for me, I believe, right, the best way to do it is firstly, go into Chinese astrology, okay? Either you use Pazi or you use Tarot, any tools that tells you about mastering our destiny, to understand more about ourselves, what breakthroughs we want to make. That's the first step. Then second step itself, we brings in feng shui, right? Because the feng shui here is going to actually help us how to expedite, speed up all those endeavors. I hope that I mean, this session itself, you all can understand. Therefore, now when it comes to feng shui activation, what exactly is feng shui activation? Like why do we even need to do it? Now just imagine, right, okay? A home is like our physical body. It's like, you know, our human. Imagine that your house is your body, okay? All right, and the energy inside is like the energy inside your body. All of us have energy, right? As long as we are alive, internally, we have the blood flowing and all that. We have this, what we call qi, the energy level. So it's the same thing. So the thing is, why is it like, you know, even you look at well-being, you look at all these health uh, 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 recommendations and all that, why people recommend at least, okay, a certain amount of time in our life itself or in our daily lives itself for exercising, to move around the body. Why? To activate the chi. Because it says that exercise makes you better. Exercise makes you healthier, all right? So why we, as a human being, need to move? Because when we move, we activate the chi so that it is flowing smoothly. And when it's uh, flowing smoothly, we have better life. We become healthier. The chances of us, not to say totally no chance to get illnesses, but the chances of us falling sick, okay, or having discomfort or disease, okay, in life itself, at least will be reduced. Now, that's the purpose of exercising, right? Okay, our body. Now, come to think about it, a house have energy, a house also have chi, okay? Now, nowadays, especially like, in the, we are actually living in a modern era. Now, in the olden days, right, one house itself probably home the entire lineage, okay? You have the great-grandparents to the grandparents because they get married very early, right, okay? To the grandparents, to the parents, to like probably one marriage, you can have a dozen of like children, 
right? I mean, I'm sure those of you, even like, you know, in my era, I have a friend, right, okay, okay, who actually come from Titi Gong, uh, somewhere from uh, uh, Bahang, right, okay? They actually have like a dozen of siblings on, you know, all right? There are still people having that much, okay, of people. But imagine now, especially in the city, in like modern city and all these things, right? How many uh, uh, children, okay, do you think that a normal family or marriage have, okay? Right, most of the time, probably they have one, they have two, okay? It is more than enough. Not many, it's like me, you know, okay? I'm like a child-making machine. I have four. Consider in the modern era, that's considered a lot, okay? But a lot of people, is like probably they have one, they are two, they're happy enough. And then looking at like, I mean, the environment, the place that we are staying, okay? Like, in a way, comfortably, you can say that a person at least stays at like 1,000 over, 2,000 square feet, okay? A family can be staying in a landed property. It can be just husband and wife, even without children, okay? And then probably like about 3,000 square feet or even bigger. Now, imagine when your home is so big and yet you only have like two person inside, three person inside. Imagine, it's like, okay, the activations of chi or energy in the home is not very well worked out on okay right now your house is so big right okay right only two of you or three of you or even four of you right okay upstairs downstairs some of them even like three stories right every corners of the house itself might not be well exercised you understand if you see the theory like that so that is why okay occasionally we need to do what we call feng shui activation so for a feng shui activation is, we want to ensure that that home itself, the energy is flowing. So it is not stuck. We do not want the energy to be stuck because once the energy is stuck, that is when like no negative effect of energy will happen. Just the same thing if you understand TCM, traditional Chinese medicine, right? It believes that all illnesses comes from depression. Now this depression, okay, is a somehow, or it's like a stuck energy, okay? It's like, you know, some energy which is like in a certain like a points or certain parts of our body itself when it's not flowing very well it becomes stuck and that is where you have pains la you have discomfort la you have growth la that's going to happen so that affect your health so, so therefore the house also the same thing we want to select special dates preferably dates that is supported by the heavens alignment okay so on those special dates itself okay when we do the activation now we are like exercising the energy of the home okay so we want the house energy to be exercised so that we can benefit from those energy now the thing is now when i talk about benefits when it comes to in a way mastering destiny benefits not necessarily mean that okay it needs to be good all the time okay because everything in terms of chinese metaphysics it comes in the context of yin and yang if we do not in a way like experience okay the negative part of things or negative side of things we will never experience the positive side of things the yin and yang if we never know what sadness is we will never know what joy is you understand what i mean all right if we never know what it's like you know disappointment is okay or unhappiness is right we will never know okay uh, what gratitude is if we have not lost before we will not appreciate what we have okay so that is actually the equations of life and the meaning of the yin and yang right so a lot of time people thought oh when you ask us to do feng shui activation isn't that supposed to be like i do feng shui activations and i should be sitting around waiting for a good benefits to happen not all the time again back to the original things okay means that good or bad benefits really depend on how ready we are now feng shui here creates opportunity the more you're ready okay when opportunity arise the more so-called good luck you will actually in a way like you know uh, 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 enjoy the, the thing is there are a lot of people they are actually running away from life they are not showing up in life they're running away from responsibility they are running away from co taking courage in their life okay they're even running away from making decisions in life so if you lead a life that you have been running away avoiding major decisions you have been like maybe in a certain ways okay maybe you're not consciously in a way doing it but subconsciously you are denying certain facts now these are the people when the feng shui activations happens right okay you might be given with that test and the test or lessons that we have okay or go through in life itself is an opportunity for us to grow when we talk about feng shui right it's all about ascension of ourselves 
how to be a better person, right? In order for us to be a better person, right, okay, we need to actually grow. Example, okay, since young, if we want to like one, one day, once a baby is born, when they are a child, okay, when they are like probably like eight months old to one year old, what they want is instead of just sitting around, they want to try to crawl, to walk, okay? But the thing is, this baby, in order for them to eventually walk and run, right, they have to go through a lot of downfall. They have to fall. They might hurt themselves. They might bang their heads, okay? All babies have gone through that. And that is also, in a way, what we call as, okay, the, past, uh, uh, the part of growing up, okay? Now, the same thing, if we want to work on ourselves, either emotionally, mentally, or even physically, the same process applies, okay? So when we activate feng shui, we are bound to grow, but how ready are we to grow? If we are not ready, it means that these lessons might come to us in a form of discomfort. It's a test to see how ready we are for that particular growth in life itself. Are we re really ready for relationship? Are we really ready for our career success? Okay? Or are there things that we need to work on? So therefore, feng shui needs to come hand in hand with the human luck or what we call the astrology or destiny reading to know about our weaknesses okay, and our strength and what are the breakthroughs. It won't just work a lot. In fact, I know many people hope it can just work wonders okay, and bring us magic. right? For people who are highly ready, they have gone through all these downfalls, they have experienced it, they are ready for it, they become resilient to it. Every time they activate feng shui, they will be able to see positive results. But for people who are not ready, that is a time that we have to work on ourselves. Now, example, if I share with you here, okay, if I share with you this exercise uh, 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 slide over here, you see, uh, now, every time we do a feng shui activation, right, okay, it is like this particular uh, 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 moment. You see, all of us have exercised before, right? Okay, I'm sure all of you have exercised before. You go to the gym, you do yoga, okay? You do weightlifting, okay? All this, like, you know, like, you know, some of them is like you go to this, like, you know, um, what do you call the intensive gym classes that we went to the last time? It's like crazy one, uh, body combat, uh, and someone got one more crazy 20, no, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, HIIT, okay? Right, high intensity workout, okay? I'm sure some of you have tried it before. But the thing is now, you realize when we do on this exercise, it's like in a way, like energy, how to say activation, right? When we exercise, we actually create energy. That's science, okay? The same thing as feng shui activation. When we exercise, right, they are actually exchange of energy. They are reaction happening in our body, okay? So therefore, the reaction, when it happens, it creates heat. It creates sweat, okay? It creates, uh, uh, how to say, risen body temperature. It creates, of course, our heart beats, beats even faster, okay? So that is a feng shui activation, but we are now activating physical body, all right? So whenever we exercise, it's just the same thing for feng shui activations at home. We are creating this reaction that happens, okay? So that we move the chi. Now you see, for those people who actually seldom exercise, okay, probably you have never exercised before. And after you have gone through an intensive workout, probably an hour or half an hour in a HIIT, or you go body combat suddenly, or even go yoga and go and stretch yourself, simplest way, okay, very gentle, very simple, you think, okay, but after that one hour, okay, what's going to happen to you the next day, or probably a few days after that? Now you look at the slide. Have you experienced this before? Right, you have not done, gone to the gym for some time, your body physically is not prepared for it. Zumba, camellia, okay? So your body now is not ready for it, right? Okay, but now you want to challenge yourself. I know people say it's going to the gym is healthy, it is good, it is going to build my muscle, okay, to make me stronger. But in order to build your muscle to make it stronger, do you know that firstly, you have to tear your muscle, okay? Really, you have to tear it. You have to break it and tear your muscle so that it builds up even stronger. And this is what's going to happen to you. Hey, reverse scan, okay? And this is what's going to happen to you, all right? The next day or the day after. So after that activation, right, you have a side effect of what? Whole body aching. How many of you have gone through that, okay? So therefore, the same thing, okay? For feng shui activations, okay? If you're not ready or certain things, okay, for you to learn, Right? If there's certain things for you to actually, in a way, embrace, okay? learn to grow yourself, when we do a feng shui activation, challenges will come. Okay? Especially onto those stars like you no know, three killings or five yellow. Now, am I saying that these stars are bad stars? No. In fact, three killings and five yellows, if you really go into like 
the what we call the highest level of feng shui, right? These are the stars which is most powerful, right? I'm sure those of you who attended my feng shui before, you understand what this means, okay? Right? I've shared about this. Five yellows is the biggest of all the nine stars, okay? The biggest. In fact, you talk about the nine star, the period nine star is so small, you know, okay? It is nothing. The biggest is actually the five yellow out of the, like, you know, the nine stars, means seven main stars and the two uh, subsidiary stars of the Northern Big Dipper, okay? That's the stars that we talk about. And five yellow, which is considered as a villain, the most, like, uh, 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 scary stars of all the flying stars, right? Is in fact, the most powerful. So in other words, right, okay, for people, if you're still afraid of three killings, if you're still afraid of five yellow, okay, it means that inside of us, there might be still a lot of fear that's living uh, inside of us. Now, there's no right or wrong. Everyone progress and transform in our own rate. It is not like a race, you know. It's like, huh, you're afraid? I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing positive results. It's not that, okay? It's just like people who go yoga, you know that. You cannot compare your body flexibility with other people's body flexibility because everyone will have their own resistance. Everyone will have their lessons, okay? So the same thing. So if you go, okay, for a feng shui activations, after activations, different people will show different results, okay? Now, why I want to share this is because upcoming months, I'll be sharing a lot lot okay a very special and good dates especially october because october is where the flying stars of the year and the month are aligning those of you who actually joined my rise to thrive masterclass you know about this october is a month okay that we want to wait for that function activations to really like start kicking off therefore if you join me on the 26th of september for my grand centurion workshop right i will have new dates and new things for you to work on all right so the October side, when we do that feng shui activation, right, we just have to ask ourselves, remember, whoever practitioners of feng shui who ask you or give you the date to do that activation, you have to ask your heart, how ready are you to do it, okay? Do you have doubt? Once if you have any doubt, you have fear, okay? You start to doubt, oh, but then this is like a five yellow or this is like a three killings or this can be like, you know, a direction where, you know, uh, uh, it is like, no, uh, probably it's like in my, my toilet or whatever. Do I still activate? Once you have doubt and you really don't feel comfortable into activating it, okay? I would say don't activate, seriously, right? Whenever if you feel that you have doubt into activating any feng shui dates that has been given to you, don't do it, all right? Because you see, Feng Shui is one thing, human mind is another thing. Remember heaven, earth, and man. Besides the earth, we also have the human counterpart. And the human counterpart is we are talking about like one of the most uh, mean, uh, 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 intelligent, okay? Like brain or mind, okay? Of every uh, thing on earth itself. So human mind itself, right, okay? They are so intelligent that they can actually start what? Worrying. So the more we worry, okay, based on some of the informations probably we have heard of or maybe we have experienced, the more we worry, that's when the law of manifestations comes in. Have you heard about like, you no, know, the law of attraction, the secret, okay? So imagine if now you're given a date to activate and the next thing is, well, I'm not sure, well, are you sure? This one activate, uh, really? Uh, don't know later, uh, good, good result or negative result. Uh. So before you even activate, right, there are actually people thinking about negativity, okay? And then after activations, the next day you have your master saw, ma. I mean, chances, depending on how ready you are, there could be something that might happen to you to test your faith and also to test your readiness. So every single thing that after the activation, the chances is you won't be actually living in peace one, you know? You're thinking, oh my God, these things happen. Suddenly I call a friend, my friend like don't call me back and don't answer my phone. You think that, oh, it must be the feng shui activations because she always reply my call one. How come this time she's not replying? Now, you can, your mind can actually start to play prank on us, you know? I'm not saying this wrong because the mind are supposed to work that way. They keep on analyzing. That's the function of the brain, all right? So therefore, it's like any part that if we are unsure, if we have doubt about the activation, right? My advice to you is don't do it, okay? But I can tell you one thing. Now, if you really work on yourself, ourselves, okay? If we actually, in a way, put in the effort to make that transformations and that breakthroughs in life itself, okay? Every feng shui activations are going to bring you another level higher. Okay, and now when I share with all these generic activations, right, it is good enough for us to practice, but it's not the, the ultimate activation, you know, okay, because the ultimate activations is where we really play along with like the fear star, 
okay because the fear star that mean that the stronger stars are the one that give us of course the highest benefits and result but the thing is for people who are not ready you no know, everyone wants to follow ma okay right i mean you see it's like you know whatever this trend in the market you look at advertisement you look at like you know any like uh, uh, uh on advertisement on the like tv or whatever right okay when you see certain things you feel you have the desire to buy it to get it okay just like fashion and all these things right how many really knows their body well how many really knows their color tone well? How many know whether they are warm color or, or cool color? What color suits them, bring the best out of them, okay? What cutting is best of them? Whether they have a longer torso, shorter leg, or a longer leg and a shorter torso, okay? Like what sort of like cuttings or like shapings itself to bring the best out of themselves? How many really know? Because that is knowledge, that is information. But a lot of people don't know. What we see is like, oh my God, that supermodel carries that dress very well. The next thing, the next thing they want Want to buy is i want that dash that dress and then the thing is when they come back somehow you feel that how come the effect is different how come when i see on the person is so nice and when it comes on my body it just feels different okay but that's the thing because everyone has our very special unique okay in a way uh, uh built up okay either physically emotionally or mentally so that really depends on every person how ready we are to cope with every uh, a single sort of like uh, 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 lessons, uh, opportunities or whatever you call it externally. So every time after a function activations, right, a different reaction will happen to different people, right? Just like the same thing in terms of like science, okay? So every time you do a, 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 a test, a chemistry test in the lab, okay? Every time you use a different like, you know, a, a chemical, it will actually in a way produce different results, okay? So all of us, we are so unique and we are so different. We are those different chemicals, okay, in the lab, all right? So therefore, the thing is why I need to share with this particular session itself because onwards now onwards especially on the september 26 one you will see that there will be more function activation okay but of course besides that we have to focus on what are the things we need to get ourselves ready first what are the breakthroughs okay what are the things we need to work on because if that does never work on no function activation will work for you okay even though temporarily you can cheat i mean sometimes people is like just do whatever it takes to cheat that results okay temporarily you can fake that result right over long term wise you will still serve the lessons okay so therefore i really urge okay to everyone i mean if we have the connection or the affinity to be connected in this like really magical topic of metaphysical astrological world i really really hope that people who follows me understand exactly what you guys are following okay because i i really want to make very clear as in like what can be done what cannot be done what we should be working on okay instead of followers who are always constantly looking for miracles to happen okay but i will say that okay once we are very ready in life okay when we have the courage and take full responsibilities in life itself okay miracles does happen okay that's really the time where we can in a way manifest okay the things that we really want based on our own capacity of readiness all right so i hope that right this sessions at least it clears some doubt okay so it's like what exactly is like function activations remember that two link that i shared okay the replay link of the previous two facebook live session i really hope that take some time watch over it okay i'm mean, just just played it and like no understands more about it of how we use water activation metal activations fire activations for different purposes okay and how does it work okay and then like follow my workshops example i'm coming up with the grand centering workshop okay on the 26th of september those of you who have not signed up okay please i hope that you won't miss this particular session it is free it is fully sponsored by j group those of you who have signed up I mean, if you're free on that day, I really hope that you can come back and join us as well. Because that day, every session that I have, an encore session, I have a repeat session, there will be new things and activities for us to work on. Because the whole purpose of the Grand Centurion Workshop is to prepare us for that special year and the special date which is coming next year. All right. So this is, uh, I mean, here. Okay. So this is an ebook. All right. So you can scan on the QR code over here to download your free ebook. Okay. Read through it. Okay. You have to understand what is it all about. How is it going to affect you in terms of your 12th uh, animal sign? Okay, right? Understand this, download the ebook, and then after that, if you feel like it, 
scan here okay or you can also join in the ebook itself okay to join the workshop which is happening on the 26th september 2 to 4 p.m also free because it's fully sponsored by J Group. Okay, so I really hope to see some of you there. Even though you have attended before, do come. Okay, so that we can actually learn. Okay, how to maximize the best during these special moments of like energy shift that's happening around us. And of course, besides this, okay, those of you, I, I think many of you, okay, have actually like you no know, sign up for this, right? For those of you who are interested, next Tuesday, okay, which is our mid autumn full moon. All right. So this is like the part you submit the mid autumn full moon is a very very special full moon. So we are going to go through an experiment. Hey, not so fast, can or not? <laughs> yeah, we are, we are going through an experiential workshop. Okay, this workshop itself is focusing on awareness mindfulness and also of course meditation okay so there will be sound sessions sound healing okay and those of you who have not experienced it my way of meditations are very very different from probably some of you might think of a traditional meditation so if you want to experience that on the 21st of september 9 p.m okay we have this session uh, sessions that's working on attitude versus altitude okay so every sessions we have a focus this is for us to actually bring more awareness and mindfulness to ourselves and then of course meditate to have more breakthroughs in our life okay to prepare ourselves to be ready all right for transformations and also for breakthroughs okay to happen so if you're interested you can scan here we also have the upcoming October 5th, okay, which is a new moon. This is Troy yet, lah, okay? Light is the new black, okay? So this is like rediscover your light in the dark. This is actually on a new moon, all right? So if you're interested, you can scan here as well. So you bring out the price now. Each of this workshop is 80 ringgit, all right? But if you buy two together, you can actually sign up for 120 ringgit for both of this workshop. Now, if you feel like it now, one thing. Coming to this workshop again, I'm going to give you, okay, based on like your awareness and mindfulness of what are the things that we have to learn to break through, okay? Again, there's no, 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 no such thing as in like, oh, if I pay 120 ringgit for two workshops, does it mean that I attend the workshop and the next day is I'm going to transform? There's no such thing. Everything needs work, okay? Right? I mean, if like, if everyone thought that activating feng shui, and like knowing all these workshops and we can just sit around, okay, just shake our legs and things will fall into our laps, okay? I don't have to work so hard, <laughs> okay? But the thing is, this is reality. But the thing is, if we know what we need to work on, if we know what has been like our obstacles, what is obstructing us? Because a lot of time we think we know certain things, but most of the time our mind works in a very special way or unique way. 90% of the things that we do, we might not be aware of it because it's controlled or governed by our subconscious mind. So all these workshops are supposed, okay, to help us to understand what's happening within us, in our subconscious, okay, how to bring it to the con uh, conscious level, that's where awareness is going to happen. And then in a way, is this whatever that's in a way stuck in our subconscious all this while good for us or unhealthy for us? If it's unhealthy, that's when we have to break through it, okay, that's when the sound session, meditations and the sound healing or the sound cleansing is going to take place. All right. So if you're interested, you can actually try. Okay, uh, this sessions as well. Buy two. It is 120 ringgit. Right. And I see some questions there. Why? Why? I will be moving to a new home in nine months time. Do I do feng shui activations to the new home or current home? Now, current home. Remember, a good question there, Why? Why? Thank you for the question. Now, you see, feng shui activations activates the home that we are in. Because you see, a house itself without human. Okay, it's nothing. There's no activation. Because human is part of the activation. When we are there, remember just now I said a big house but only two person living in, three person living in. Not enough of human energy to activate it. That's why we need all this feng shui activation. Okay? So right, human is the connection between heaven and earth. Human is actually the, the how to say, the intermediate, okay? The middle person between he heaven and earth. So we want to activate, right? We want to activate a house. We don't have to own the house. It can be a rented house, okay? We need to activate the house that we are staying in. Because once we do the activation, we who are in that house, when the chi is moving, it is flowing, it is circulating, we who are inside the house itself or in the home itself, we benefit from it, okay? So that's when the synergy of the home energy and our human energy can merge together all right so that's a good question thank you for asking that so remember always activate the home that you are staying in you might have a few houses okay that like you know you have like rented out or you might have, have a weekend house okay that you normally go over a weekend but most of the time you're at this place where you're staying most of the time 
pay attention to the one that you're staying most. All right. So Yin Guan Lim. Okay. So I have yes. Okay. Yin Guan. I I'm aware. Okay. Right of your uh uh in a way your incident okay activated the seventh September I got hot water on my leg okay on the tenth okay is it the activation it could be the activation all right it could be okay it could be the activations then probably you have to see and say all these things that comes out after the activations okay right the thing is you have to see back okay so whatever that's happening on your leg itself okay now you have to actually ask are they like any aspect of your life because it hurts your leg now some people do the activations even in the meditation class right. When we do a meditation class, it's also activation, but body activation. You see, when we actually do the meditations internally, we use visualizations to activate the energy. That's why some of you right feel probably hot. Okay, some of you feel sweaty. After that, some of you feel like a lot of farting, a lot of burping because the energy is moving. So after that, some of you even feel that there could be like some pain in the body or some like, you know, uh, I remember I think Tai Yok Wei when I mentioned to me, right, okay, she involved in an accident before and after that she felt that those old scars start to act up, okay, so activations will bring out, okay, discomfort, especially if there's a lesson for us to actually work on or there's a healing, okay, for us to actually in a way work on. So for you, Yin Guan itself, okay, so the legs itself, maybe Yin Guan, you want to ask yourself, are there any things in your life itself that you are reluctant to move forward or move on? Are there anything? Because you see, the legs is relating to our moving forward, stepping forward in life, okay? Are there anything that somehow, okay, that you felt, right, either consciously or subconsciously, that you feel that probably you are, in a way, still pulled back by fear? or still affected by fear that you felt it is very, very difficult for you to actually break through it or break free from it or even move on from it, okay? Anyone who are emotionally, physically or whatever that is like, in a way, holding on to you. So that would be one of the things, especially anything to do with the legs itself, okay? So these are the things that probably you might want to actually like look into as well. Any aspect on the life itself that, you know, like you, you want to pay attention to, okay? That you want to focus on, okay? That somehow you can hopefully do breakthroughs from it. As I mentioned, right? My five yellow, five yellow, uh, okay? It was activated by my younger son, okay? On within that week itself, okay? He fell down from the stairs, okay? And then after that, right, the whole house, is a two and a half story house, got flooded, okay? Why? Because one of the gutter, okay? It's not a piping, it's a gutter. So when it rains, right, the gutter is supposed to flow the water out, right? Out of a sudden, the gutter itself becomes blocked, okay? So the gutter overflow from the rooftop, it comes into the home itself, two and a half stories all flooded. Okay, I mean it's not high flood lah, but still the whole the whole house is flooded. Okay, and that is actually activations of five yellow. Of course, from all these things also, okay, there's a lot of realization from that. Okay, after the activations, okay, are we going to like curse and swear and stop doing it? I mean, if you ask me, I have had incidents like this before, but am I going to stop doing feng shui activation? No, all right, because I know that is back in 2012. Okay, so the thing is because I know the more I do it the more I get myself ready for it, and I will see that, okay, the more activations that I do, the more, in a way, positive results it will yearn. But of course, I cannot be in denial. I have to, in a way, be very, very honest and truthful that I'm really working on myself, okay? Because if you're expecting of a positive results but unwilling to take, okay, that responsibility in life, nothing will happen, okay? So, yeah, what else here, Jennifer, okay? Right, um... So I feel after the activation recently, it triggered the temple, okay, and can't sink in many ways, all right? It could be, in fact, right, okay, you see, my activations sometimes at home, right, okay, now you see, especially homes where if people are more temperamental, you see, I'm a very impatient person, okay? And I, my eldest daughter also, obviously, you can see that, like, Kong Yu is very patient, that one thing, okay? So me and my eldest daughter, we are very impatient person. So you know that the house over here, okay, it's like, of course, the energy is very yang, okay, it's very strong. So there could be possibilities that every time when we activated, because the fire energy is very strong, right, okay, when the activations have been activated, right, most of the time we will see what, you know, hindrances and obstacles, okay, relating to electrical products. Every time, okay, sometimes it's like, you know, after some activations itself, right, you will feel and you will see that that particular energy becomes so strong, okay, that electrical products are in a way affected. Either there's a bulb issue, okay, it's like this bulb 
uh, in a way right runs out and stuff uh, stuff like that okay so these are the things that you might okay want to actually look through but i mean if you ask me why after all these activations that we are still do it i would definitely still do it okay because i can see over the years 2012 up to now there are tremendous changes there are tremendous results okay but of course i work very hard towards like in a way breakthroughs as well okay but for you remember your life is your own choices okay don't i mean as i mentioned if you have any doubt don't do it if you don't feel comfortable don't do the activation because you see you can still focus on breakthroughs you can still focus on working on yourself and yet you will still see results okay so if you really don't feel like in a way 100 percent sure okay of doing the activation then don't do it don't do it just because other people are doing it because it's like if that's the case there are fear within us all right so that is also the purpose is like you know like um i wanted now is it related to alignment definitely everything is related to alignment it started since last year so you will see that everything is aligning that's why people if you get yourself ready after next year the upcoming 12 years itself right you will see that things will just flow okay effortlessly into your life it's much easier if you're really ready but the thing is okay if we still have a lot of like blockages within us right when up there is aligning, but internally we are not aligning, that's when we see all these obstacles, problems, issues, unhappiness, okay? It will attack us in terms of either physically, mentally, or emotionally. So it really depends on like how much, how to say, determinations and greed that every one of us, okay, wants to actually, in a way, push on. And that is subjective to individual. Don't do something just because other people is doing it, all right? We have to take responsibility in life. If you want to do it, do it with our own full responsibility. And I can share with you, it's like all the activations that I share with you, I personally definitely will do it first, okay? So therefore, it's like I won't be sharing with you something that I won't be doing it, okay? So always remember, in our life itself, there's really no point living in fear, all right because the more fear we have okay the more how to say blockage okay we will create for ourselves the more obstacles we will actually create for ourselves seriously i mean really if you feel connected to me or whatever i really want to share with you these things as in like never live a life okay right in fear never live a life believing in false hope okay feng shui can actually sell a lot of false hope honestly easily all right but you, it won't get you anywhere, okay? But if you think like feng shui and astrology, can it help to transform our life? Chop and sign, guarantee. My life was transformed by it, okay? But the thing is not based on false hope, uh, okay? If you're thinking that feng shui can help you to take all the responsibilities, okay, uh, that you are unwilling to take, okay? To actually like, you no, know, take make all the courage that you are, are unwilling to actually in a way live up to, nothing will change in your life. Okay, in fact, more sufferings will come. All right, so I hope that it makes it clear. So those of you who are following me, okay, I really hope that don't miss out that September 26th session. All right, and then of course, uh, next uh, Tuesday, the mid-autumn full moon, which is very, very powerful full moon. Okay, so if you have joined me, that's very good. If you have not joined, I really hope to see some of you there because these are the sessions where we work into our internal breakthroughs. Okay, because the more we work on that, the more we heal ourselves, the more enlightened we become, the easier we can go through the obstacles, the tests, and the lessons in life. All right, so thank you so much, okay, to all of you. Sorry again for the interruptions earlier on, all right? So, yeah, any more questions? No? All right, so thank you so much, all right? Uh, Saman Zaidi, you're coming again, very good. Even those of you who have attended, I do hope that, I mean... I mean, if you have the time now, okay, right? Majority of the things will be the same, okay? But of course, the last part of the activations and also like the activities, different things, we have to work ourselves towards, okay? That special year, next year, there will be additional info. All right, so thank you so much, okay? To all of you, Dominic, thank you, all right? Lina Lim, thank you. And I hope all of you stay safe, stay clear, and stay courageous. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye-bye.